Tuesday morning uh, when we were here, I was uh, seeding like uh, every other morning and uh, water started coming up to the first level, step, second step, and everybody was saying, don't worry uh, about it, it's not coming into the building. I, uh, I tried to get some stuff out, and then it was coming to the third step, and then it reached the door. Well, I left uh, the place at uh, 1.30 Monday, and uh, I got a phone call about 2.30, and they said the water was coming in rapidly in the basement. We were already pumping at the time, but we had no idea that what was, what was to come, you know? We had no really warning at all. I was working all day Tuesday morning, as usual, and uh, you know, it was raining pretty heavy. And we watched the uh, puddle come up from behind us, and uh, it just started coming awful quick. Water just started entering the doors. By the time we decided to start lifting stuff high and moving out, we had eight to 10 inches fairly quickly. I take a little ride down to help my friend at the hilltop. He said I needed a pump. I brought him a pump. Within 20 minutes, the game was over. It came up. We we're out of business. I looked down the street at my building. There's nothing I could do. We, we helped him as much as we could. And it's Mario and uh, Marco Rotaco. And that was basically the end of the road. The water came up. And there was nothing we could do. And it was over. Um, come past about 1.30. Um, all the toilets started backflowing. It was all, all the sewers started letting go first. And all the water started coming in through the, through the toilets. And basically it was the toilets that started overflowing and water started coming in. And, and we, we obviously had to close and we closed. And before we knew it, the water was creeping up the parking lot. We managed to get out of here. And next thing we knew, we had 44 inches of water around this building. Uh, it got to the point that the water was getting higher and uh, uh, it was a lot of trucks, cars, they were all coming in through the through industrial drive and we called the Wesley police and told them, you know, is there any way that you people can stop the traffic because the, the water was coming up and being like big trucks was splashing all on the window and all in front of the door. By that time, a little bit of the water was coming in. The water was so high it hit my counter. Wiped out everything inside the building. Uh, I still got a full basement of water. I actually lost everything. I, I, I just threw out over three thousand dollars worth of food. Uh, I lost my tables. I lost all my equipment. Uh, everything's contaminated. Um, it's gone. Everything's gone. Uh, the floors gone. The walls are gone. Four o'clock. The basement was completely filled with water. About oh, at least eight feet in the basement. It was filled to the top. Then we uh, pretty much had to evacuate the building. All my employees had to leave. And we watched it from the top till like 9, 10 o'clock. It was just, just kept coming and coming. Then it came in, the, in here about over two feet. Uh, we lost a lot of power tools and stuff, I'm sure. Uh, it's too early to tell exactly what we've lost. Well, we lost all the equipment in the building. Printers, copiers, fax, um, everything. Modems, uh, computers, you name it. It's all gone. I mean, everything in here is just gone. I lived on 85 Pier Street for 43 years of the time that I've been here in this world. I never seen anything like this. Never expected it. Never expected it or we would have been prepared. I've always tried to be diligent in situations. And there's, there was no warning. There was nothing. There was nothing. My husband was up on the hill. He came down halfway to try to helped me, but at that point, there was no way out. So he, he walked right in the water, and he got my purse and my uh, book, whatever I had, all the stuff I had, and uh, he put it up on a hill, and then he came back, and he got me out of the window. And, um, you know, he just grabbed me, and he put me out of the window, and he carried me out. In fact, when Elena was pulled out, Maria was up on the hill, and she embraced her, and immediately said, you know, anything you guys need, you know, the shop, anything, just call. And uh, Elena got home, she got showered, and, you know, she called me later that night and said, we're going to be uh, down at Bella Vida. She's taking us in. I saw a beauty hut, like, pretty much underwater, and I, my heart just stopped. I just, it, it was an image of me losing, and she had, she has 30 years into this business. I've only been a hairdresser for 15 years, but owned my business for six. So I, I couldn't imagine 30 years just 
flowing away like that. And I was crying. I saw her crying. And it just, I said to her, anything you need, my, my door is open. And I just, all of them. She said, I have so many people. I said, I don't care. I would make do. Whatever we had to do, we would do. Uh, I don't quite know. I've been, you know, sick to my stomach over this. I, I just about eat and uh, I have a family. Uh, it's called Little Man's Diner because my son got killed at 15 years old and I named it after him in his honor to keep the restaurant because he used to help me in my other one. And, and I like to keep it going, but with, with the way things are, with no help, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, we're gonna put a new rug in here, obviously. Hopefully my equipment upstairs didn't get damaged too bad. I don't know yet, but it all looks, pre looks pretty good. And I'm gonna have to just start rebuilding. We're just trying to keep a good spirit and try to keep plugging along. Hopefully somebody can help us out and hopefully can help everybody out around here. We are, we're all in a little bit of need, you know? What are you going to do? I mean, hopefully we'll get a little help from the uh, Obama you know, people. FEMA's been here. Homeland Security just came through. Uh, the flyovers. I mean, they've been all over the place. White House, Sheldon were here last night. If they do something, I'll be impressed. But there's little hope right now if they're going to help us anytime soon. I mean, we're out of business. They're out of business. We're all losing money. Wesley Glass, right down the line. What do you do? This guy right next door, what's he gonna do? I didn't care. I have nine stations, and if she had 15 girls, I would find the, I would find the spot. I would find it. We just appreciate everything everybody's doing for me and, and everybody else, and especially Maria Bella Vida with the girls and Maria, they've been unbelievable. They're making us feel so home and everything. I, this is my primary business. We have uh, properties that we own along this road down below. My main residence is down the street. We've been evacuated from that as well.